In the ever-changing landscape of the open sea, it is clear that a new era of piracy has arrived, with a wave of unimaginable progress and unparalleled power. These modern-day pirates wield an arsenal of mind-boggling weapons and employ tactics that defy the imagination. How do these pirates pose such a threat to U.S. Navy ships? Why is it that when they see a U.S. Navy ship, they feel confident enough to approach it? Who is really behind them? The answer might surprise you. Piracy still exists today, especially in places like South Asia, South America, and the Red Sea. Somali pirates, gaining much attention lately, owe their rise to the collapse of Saeed Barre's rule in the early 1990s. This chaos allowed international trawlers to exploit their waters, pushing out local fishermen. By the mid-2000s, these pirates began organized attacks on ships, peaking with the hijacking of the French superyacht Le Ponant in 2008. Its release for a staggering 1.7 million euros ransom sparked a piracy boom driven by immense greed. But piracy isn't just a Somali issue. Nigerian pirates often target oil cargo, while Caribbean pirates are tied to drug trafficking. In the Bay of Bengal, local ships are more at risk than international ones. Modern piracy takes two forms. Small pirates, motivated by quick loot, and larger organized groups, embedded in intricate criminal networks with aims beyond just plundering. Tactics and Techniques Employed by Modern Pirates Modern pirates employ a range of versatile tactics. To get close to their targets, they may assume false identities as fishermen or employ deceptive distress calls. Alternatively, they might focus on a large merchant ship and utilize high-speed boats for swift approaches. Boarding the target vessels, they utilize grappling hooks, ladders, and small boats, all while armed with not just automatic weapons, but also heavier weaponry such as rocket-propelled grenades and anti-aircraft guns. Who would have thought pirates would have all this? But there's more. Something that makes these pirates even more dangerous is the fact that they have access to advanced technology, including radar, sonar, and various communication devices. Additionally, they may employ tactics such as using motherships to transport smaller attack boats, employing drones for surveillance and reconnaissance, and even using cyber attacks to disable the communication and navigation systems of targeted vessels. These tactics allow modern pirates to carry out their operations with increased efficiency, speed, and lethality, posing significant challenges to maritime security forces worldwide. With these advantages, modern pirates have developed distinct attacking styles that differ significantly from traditional sea robbers. Plus, arresting modern pirates presents similar challenges to those encountered by their historical counterparts. Law enforcement agencies often lack jurisdiction and authority over open seas, and many countries do not possess dedicated water police or military forces to effectively address piracy incidents. Pirates and poachers continue to employ false flags as a mean to evade pursuit and sow confusion. Even legal ships can involve a convoluted web of ownership, charters, operations, and multinational crew members. They may be registered under a convenient nation that is not directly connected to any of the entities involved. Determining responsibility for a specific vessel poses a formidable challenge in itself. What's worse is that contemporary pirates are known to have connections with government entities and organized crime groups. For instance, pirates operating in regions like Somalia and the Far East often have affiliations with such entities. In some cases, pirates in the South China Sea are even reported to operate with the protection or support of the Chinese government. On the other hand, certain pirates exploit the absence of government presence and enforcement, as seen near Brazil, where the lack of a coast guard or equivalent maritime authority creates an environment conducive to pirate activities. So the question arises, who is to be trusted? 
Another major obstacle in eradicating piracy lies in the fact that its root causes often have international dimensions. However, pirate cultures tend to be localized and resistant to international solutions, making it difficult to address the issue effectively on a global scale, though the US Navy has been actively trying to contribute the best it can. The Role of the US Navy Throughout history, the United States has been actively engaged in combating piracy and maintaining maritime security. A key objective in this regard is to ensure superior control over the seas, projecting power effectively, and deterring potential adversaries. Safeguarding maritime assets, including vessels, ports, and critical infrastructure from a range of threats such as piracy, terrorism, and illegal activities is a crucial responsibility. Additionally, the nation's ballistic missile submarines play a vital role in the country's nuclear deterrent strategy. These submarines, armed with intercontinental ballistic missiles, provide a secure second strike capability, deterring potential adversaries from launching a nuclear attack on the United States or its allies. It's also worth noting that the US Navy actively engages in international cooperation and partnerships with other navies and maritime organizations worldwide. These partnerships collaboratively enhance maritime security, promote interoperability, and facilitate information sharing, joint exercises, and capacity building efforts. Demonstrating a firm stance against piracy, the US Navy actively engages in an international task force known as Combined Task Force 151, or CTF 151. This collaborative effort employs advanced surveillance techniques utilizing naval vessels and aircraft to closely monitor the world's oceans. As you can probably guess, the strategic importance of the US Navy maintaining control over maritime trade routes is undeniable. As a global superpower, the United States has a vested interest in safeguarding its economic prosperity, energy security, national defense, power projection capabilities, and international influence. By asserting dominance over these routes, the Navy can deter potential adversaries, protect U.S. interests, and ensure the security of American territories and allies. Moreover, control over these routes enables the Navy to project power and swiftly respond to emerging threats or crises, bolstering the nation's defense capabilities, which is taken very seriously. Speaking of which, power projection is a vital tool employed by the U.S. Navy to combat piracy. Through a visible presence in piracy-prone regions, the Navy acts as a deterrent to potential pirates. By developing warships, aircraft, and other assets, the Navy demonstrates its readiness to respond swiftly and decisively to pirate threats, dissuading pirate activities due to the perceived risks involved. This proactive approach helps prevent attacks before they occur and contributes to a reduction in piracy incidents. Furthermore, Power projection naturally enables the U.S. Navy to swiftly respond to piracy incidents. Strategically stationed naval assets can rapidly intercept and disrupt pirate activities, providing crucial support to vessels under threat. Maritime interdiction operations, including the boarding and apprehension of suspicious vehicles, disrupt piracy networks and facilitate the prosecution of individuals involved. Additionally, the Navy's air assets, such as carrier-based and maritime patrol aircraft, actively conduct surveillance and reconnaissance missions to ensure air superiority. This aerial coverage enhances situational awareness and aids in the early detection of pirate activities, enabling timely and effective responses. Challenges Faced The United States is currently the sole state capable of extending its influence beyond its borders, particularly in the vast maritime domain. Consequently, it is argued that the United States should take the lead in addressing the issue of piracy, much like Great Britain did in the 19th century. However, there are significant practical challenges associated with such an endeavor. The primary obstacle is the immense expanse of the sea where Somali pirates are active, an area approximately four times the size of Texas. 
Effectively patrolling this region, which encompasses about 1,300 nautical miles of coastline, would necessitate a substantial commitment of naval resources. Presently, the U.S. 5th Fleet maintains a presence in the area, with 5 to 10 ships at any given time. Additionally, the European Union and NATO have deployed naval forces, and other countries such as China, Russia, India, Saudi Arabia, and Malaysia have either contributed or planned to contribute naval assets to anti-piracy operations in the region. Nevertheless, due to the sheer size of the area, it remains impractical to maintain a continuous naval presence capable of effectively deterring or defeating the pirates. The U.S. Navy's top officers have emphasized that combating piracy requires both maritime and land-based efforts, as the issue is more complex than simply arming commercial ships. Admiral Gary Roughhead, Chief of Naval Operations, states that pirates do not reside at sea but on land, where they also handle their lucrative financial transactions. Addressing the shore dimension is essential when discussing the eradication of piracy, he told reporters after a speech at a Navy League conference. On another note, in a recent incident in 2009, U.S. Navy commandos successfully rescued U.S. ship Captain Richard Phillips from Somali pirates, killing three gunmen in the process. Another suspected pirate was arrested and brought to the United States for legal proceedings. Following this incident, some U.S. lawmakers proposed deploying U.S. military forces on commercial vessels, a measure that the Pentagon opposes. Do you have any idea why the Pentagon is against this? Let us know in the comments below. Anyway, U.S. officials have called for a coordinated international effort to combat piracy, which involves implementing new strategies to prosecute and imprison pirates, track and freeze their financial assets, and secure the release of ships that are still held hostage in the region. The U.S. Navy's Response As we already know, Piracy has long been a persistent problem plaguing the world's oceans, and the U.S. Navy has a rich history of engaging in counter-piracy operations dating back to the early years of the country. During President Thomas Jefferson's administration, the nation faced the First Barbary War, which was one of its initial overseas conflicts. This conflict arose from relentless attacks by Barbary pirates on American merchant ships, to protect American interests and ensure the smooth flow of commerce, President Jefferson made the decision to deploy military forces against the pirates. Commodores Stephen Decatur and Edward Preble emerged as notable figures associated with American counter-piracy efforts in subsequent years. In today's day and age, the U.S. Navy has developed a multifaceted approach to combat the grave threat posed by pirates to maritime trade and the safety of seafarers. One key strategy is the use of non-lethal deterrence when faced with such threats. Water cannons are widely employed as effective anti-piracy measures, propelling a forceful stream of water that deters pirates from boarding merchant vessels. These devices can also impede the movement of pirate boats by rapidly filling them with water. Sonic devices, blinding lasers, and long-range acoustic devices are other tools used to disorient and deter potential attackers providing a safe and non-lethal means of defense. Ship hardening is yet another crucial tactic employed by the U.S. Navy, though not very well known. This involves equipping naval vessels and commercial ships with physical measures to make boarding more difficult for pirates. Examples include razor wire, anti-climbing barriers, reinforced doors, and fortified citadels, all of which create formidable obstacles and significantly increase the difficulty of pirates gaining access to ships and their valuable cargo. The Navy actively promotes best management practices, otherwise known as BMPs, within the shipping industry. Adhering to these industry-approved protocols enhances ships' preparedness and response capabilities, reducing vulnerability to pirate attacks. On top of that, Aerial surveillance plays a vital role in the U.S. Navy's anti-piracy operations. Helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles are deployed for extensive aerial surveillance,
covering vast areas in an efficient manner and providing real-time information to naval vessels and maritime authorities. This increases situational awareness, facilitates rapid responses to piracy incidents, and ensures effective deployment of naval assets. You know what they say, a stitch in time saves nine, so it's crucial for the US Navy to stay to 10 toes. Collaborative information sharing is another cornerstone of the US Navy's anti-piracy efforts. The Navy actively participates in initiatives such as the Maritime Security Center, Horn of Africa, and the International Maritime Bureau's Piracy Reporting Center. By sharing intelligence, incident reports, and piracy trends with international partners, the Navy contributes to a comprehensive understanding of piracy activities and supports coordinated responses. Also, capacity building in piracy-prone regions is a priority for the U.S. Navy. What does capacity building mean, you might wonder? Well, through training programs, joint exercises, and the provisions of equipment and resources, the U.S. Navy subsequently strengthens the capabilities of regional navies and coast guards. This collaborative approach empowers regional forces to effectively combat piracy in their own waters and contribute to a safer maritime environment. Furthermore, the U.S. Navy actively engages in raising public awareness about piracy and educating mariners on best practices. Through websites, publications, and outreach programs, they disseminate information to the maritime community, empowering mariners with the knowledge to mitigate the risk of pirate attacks and ensure their own safety. These tactics and strategies collectively form a comprehensive and adaptable approach employed by the U.S. Navy to combat piracy. Here's an interesting question for all of you to answer in the comments below. Taking all of the U.S. Navy's measures and tactics into account, do you think pirates will adapt and still pose a significant threat? Let us know. U.S. Navy Security Procedures The United States Navy has implemented comprehensive security procedures to protect vulnerable ships from piracy and ensure safe maritime operations. One crucial aspect of their strategy is the practice of escorting, where naval assets are deployed to deter pirate attacks and provide protection for ships under threat. Let's explore the key components of these procedures further. Threat assessments are conducted by the U.S. Navy to identify ships at higher risk of pirate attacks. Factors such as piracy hotspots, recent incidents, intelligence reports, and security conditions are considered during this assessment. Once a vulnerable ship is identified, the Navy collaborates with shipping companies, port authorities, and relevant stakeholders to plan the escort operation. This coordination ensures effective communication and optimal use of available resources. Naval assets ranging from warships to specialized security units are deployed based on factors such as threat level, ship size, operational requirements, and resources. These assets are equipped with advanced technology and manned by highly trained personnel to enhance the security of the escorted ship. A crucial factor not to be forgotten is the communication and coordination between the escorted ship and the naval escort. The escorted ship maintains regular contact, sharing vital information such as position, course, speed, and any suspicious activities or threats observed. This real-time exchange of information enables the naval escort to adjust tactics and respond promptly to emerging risks. Something interesting to note is that there are rules of engagement established to ensure the proper conduct of naval personnel during escort operations. The ROE defines authorized actions in response to threats or acts of aggression. By adhering to these guidelines, the naval escort operates within legal boundaries while providing effective protection to the escorted ship. Tactical measures, including maintaining a visible presence, conducting patrols, and utilizing non-lethal deterrence further enhance security and deter potential pirates. There are also contingency plans that are developed to address security incidents, emergencies, or attempts to breach the security perimeter. What are contingency plans, you might be wondering? Well, simply put, the
These are pre-established strategies or action plans created in advance to manage and mitigate the impact of potential future events or situations that could disrupt normal operations or pose risks. These plans allow for swift and coordinated responses to protect the escorted ship and its crew. It's important to note that the U.S. Navy's specific contingency plans and operational procedures related to piracy are generally classified and not publicly disclosed in detail, which makes sense. So it remains a mystery as to how they're formulating them. Technological Advancements and Future Challenges Advancements in surveillance, communication, and vessel protection systems have made significant strides in enhancing maritime security. However, ongoing innovation is necessary to address future challenges, particularly in the areas we're about to discuss. As expected, criminals and adversaries continually adapt their tactics, necessitating innovative countermeasures. This includes addressing sophisticated cyber threats, evolving piracy techniques, and the potential misuse of unmanned systems for illicit activities. What's really surprising and rather unbelievable is that modern pirates are increasingly using cyber tactics to gather intelligence, track vessels, and identify vulnerabilities. But bear in mind that maritime operations in remote areas such as the Arctic or deep sea regions pose unique challenges. These environments often feature extreme weather conditions and limited infrastructure, making surveillance, communication, and vessel protection more difficult. The U.S. Navy is working on innovations focused on developing specialized technologies and systems that can withstand harsh conditions and provide reliable coverage in these remote areas. However, it goes without saying that finding the right balance between advanced technologies and cost considerations is a challenging task. It is crucial for ongoing innovation to focus on developing cost-effective solutions that can be adopted by a diverse range of vessels, including smaller ships and those with limited budgets. This approach will enable broader participation in enhancing maritime security and promote the adoption of effective solutions across various vessel sizes and operational capacities ultimately getting closer to eradicating the threat of piracy. Anyway, now you have a pretty good idea about these modern pirates. Do you believe that there should be stricter penalties imposed on individuals found guilty of piracy? Let us know in the comments. No matter the threat, the U.S. Navy stands as a formidable force in the fight against piracy, demonstrating unwavering dedication and unmatched capabilities. Their continued vigilance and tireless efforts make them a vital guardian of maritime interests, ensuring safe and secure seas for all. We owe a debt of gratitude to the brave men and women of the U.S. Navy for their selfless service and unwavering commitment to protecting our oceans. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a like, and if you loved it, then please subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you will be showing us your support, which we truly appreciate and cherish. Keep an eye out as we continue to bring more entertaining and educational content on the U.S. Navy and other maritime topics. So hit that bell icon so you'll receive notification every time we post a new video. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.